Ashnaz Durbatuluk, Ashnaz Gimbatul, Ashnaz Frakataluk, Ah Burzumishi Krimpatul. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. It has found me. On the backs of two halflings, they brought the ring to me. Did they think my ring would stay hidden in the lands of Everdark? Did they think two mortals would be strong enough to resist me? If they thought so, they were fools, and the burden of my conquests lays on their shoulders. Aragorn, Mithrandir, Elrond, Half-Elf. I am reborn, reforged. They think they beat us at Pelennor, but that was only the beginning. My hordes are renewed, evil mortals join us, and once again we march on Minas Tirith. But this time, I will be there. Once again, I will feel the burn of battle. Once again, I will hear the screams, and once again, I will savor the elation of ending the life of mortals and immortals alike. This time, there is no escape from Middle-earth. Just death. Just destruction and dominion. Dominion for Sauron. All of Middle-earth will be mine. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are here with another one of our 12 Battles of Christmas. And many of you have guessed it. Of course, we are going to be playing Third Age Total War today. One of the greatest mods ever made for a Total War game. A fantastic mod and something you can still have an amazing fun with even today. Um, and we all know the setup for this battle, of course. The first battle of the Pelennor Fields has been done, has been completed. But Sauron was successful in retaking the ring from Frodo when they entered Mordor. And now Sauron returns with a host that is ready to destroy the realms of men once and for all. He returns himself with the ring. Of course, the elves have decided to muster Elrond himself has come and he is here to finally destroy Sauron once and for all along with the remnants of the Gondor forces. So we are here ready to play this glorious battle. Let's get our men ready, uh, ready to fight and we will be on our way to destroying the realms of men and elves once and for all. Um, of course, Sauron has gathered all his forces, including the men from the south that have returned to fight for him. The Southrons, the Variags, uh, the Runish people, and the Haradrim as well, of course. No Oliphants now. They were destroyed in the Battle of the Pelennor Fields, or at least the ones that were brought to the Battle of the Pelennor Fields. So, they do not have Oliphants, but they do have their Ologhai and many, many, many horsemen that are ready to fight this battle. And you can see the elves themselves are confident. They are spread from their men. So let us get going and let us get ready to fight. Instantly, they are going to go and try to meet uh, their brethren, the Gondor forces. But Sauron has plans for that. He shall destroy the elves first before turning on Gondor itself. So... Let's bring our men forward. Let's bring our cavalry forward as well. Of course, the elves don't have a huge force, but they have a very, very elite force. We have the Noldor archers over here, Noldor veterans, and we have the Eldarenwe uh, Elder Turno as um, Elrond's bodyguard as well, as well as some Sindar spearmen. And that is it. Very, very strong troops. Not troops we want to be messing with, uh, but we are going to have to mess with them today for we are the orcs of mordor and we march for sauron himself you shall fight my friend let's see let's get our archers in place We've got our uh sauron's will we are going to try and bring them through and break 
through the ranks of the enemy as Gondor and our other forces are converging on this battle once and for all. Sauron, my friend, we need you close to the action to scare the enemy. Get rid of those fools. And our cavalry will come round as well. Our temple marksmen are very good archers indeed. But you can see our orc host is not finding this battle so pleasing to them. Uh, they are losing quite heavily uh, very early on. But we are going to try and destroy the elven archers. So let us get our men in position to do so. Charge them. They are a very, very strong archer unit. And thousands of years of history and memories are just dying with every cavalry charge that we bring here today. Of course, the elves. Glorious, glorious men of Middle-earth. Glorious elves of Middle-earth. They will be destroyed here today. The final nail in the coffin for Elrond, half elven. A mortal foe of Sauron for many, many years. Now, let us charge in there. We need to break these guys. And I'm thinking, let's come out. Let's get out. Let's get out, boys. Let's get out, like I said. Sauron, rally the boys. Rally our men, for they are falling where are our Sauron's will? They are over here. The enemy continues to march upon us. But our Sauron's will are going to have to charge these guys in the back. I'm thinking the Sindar Spearmen, let's go for them. Let's get our Temple uh, temple Knights in there as well to fight, charge at the Noldor Archers once again. Get into the back of the Sindar Spearmen. Sauron's will. We're going to try and surround Elrond himself. Oh. Brutal. Brutal charge that from the temple temple wards. They are very, very strong indeed. You charge back in. Charge, my men, charge! Into the Elden Ring way. No, <laughs> I don't know how to say that. We are, they are wavering. They are shaken, but get into the Sindar Spearmen. Rally the boys once again, my friends. Get our Sauron's will in there. The will of Sauron shall be done today. No, Elrond has died already. Smote by our Sauron's will. And that is a glorious sight to see on the battlefield of Pelennor once again. Get there, my friends. You get out. We'll get you guys in. These Noldor archers are proving very tough. We need a free route into the back there. Now Sauron himself shall enter the fray with his personal bodyguard. Come on, Sauron! Yes. The elves again are still steady. They are very powerful indeed, warriors. Uh, but here comes the enemy. The enemy cavalry has come. Gondor cavalry militia. The enemy cavalry was not that strong. They did not have... Much left after the first battle of the Pelennor Fields. Uh, and Rohan itself was pretty much on its last legs. Uh, so no Rohirrim today to save the day. But we have Sauron instead. Himself in the battlefield. Making the Sindar Spearmen waver. Get into them now. Let's get out boys. Let's get out. Kill the rest of these Noldor archers. Kill them all. You can see the enemy are coming now. And so too are our glorious Variags. Fighting the Lebanon Marines and the Talon Knights. The Black Auric Halberds in there as well. And you can see it's chaos on our right flank. Orcs fighting men all across. And evil men fighting the men of Gondor. All across the battlefield. What a glorious sight to see. Right, let's charge into this Gondor Militia Cav. Now you guys get out. Uh, now let's charge the Sindar Spearmen. This is going to be very hard to win. Sauron has hardly lost a man so far, though. Sauron's unit is very strong. Let's just see those stats. 40 defense with 3 hit points. So really, 120 defense and 20 attack. Uh, which is effective against armor as well, of course. Which is pretty much a hit will make one of these guys die unless they have more than 20 armor. Uh, no, no, if they have 20 armor, that doesn't... Uh, yeah, that doesn't matter. If they have a, 
a shield and defense skill equaling 20, then they might not die on the first hit, but it's very unlikely. Fight the Gondor Cavalry Militia, my men. Now let's get you out. Let's go and kill them. Now let's get these boys out as well. Let's get you up here. Glorious charges continue. How do we fare elsewhere? Uh, Olokai are now in the battle. Breaking these Lebanon Marines. Come on, Olokai. Let's go. The glorious Olokai of Mordor. And we are firing upon Elrond's bodyguard. The last of their bodyguard. As Elrond himself has died. Gondor militia. Talon knights are going to be hard for our Black Auric halberds. So we need to get onto Gondor as soon as possible. We need to break the fools of the elves that remain upon Middle-earth. Now, our, our, um, sorry, Sauron is starting to die. Fight that Gondor cavalry militia. Now you guys, let's get all three of you down here if we can. Who is this? Gondor militia, we will break that foolish militia. And Sauron himself is in the thick of the fight. His orcs have fled. Fools they are. Come on, Olakai. We know you can do this. We know you are strong enough. Fight that Gondor cavalry militia. Now charge. Short range charge into the Gondor militia. That really didn't do much damage. Oh, that secondary charge kind of did. We pretty much halved that unit in one charge. It's quite successful. Please break them quickly. Let's go. We need this guy. We need to come in and help Sauron, our great lord. Let's bring these guys forward. Fight this Gondor militia. Our Olokai is doing superbly well. Who is this now? Citadel Guard. We do not want to be fighting those head to head. Definitely not our cavalry. And let's charge into the Noldor veterans as well. One of the toughest units in the game. And they are fighting Sauron tooth and nail right now. The Noldor veterans. The charge in it comes. Oh, glorious. And the Noldor veterans will fall under the might of Mordor. Our Olakai goes well as well. And you can see many of our many of our men and orcs are routing now. As the Wardens of the White Tower and the Seaward Lancers fight through our devilish orcs. Right, back out. Now we've got you two as well. Let's uh, organize you. Uh, where do we want you to charge? Not the Citadel Guard, of course. I will have Sauron fight the Citadel Guard. Right, let's get our cavalry all together, I think, would be the option. Sauron, my friend, go and fight the Citadel Guard. We're getting absolutely savaged with archers right now. Come on, the boys. Come on, Olakai as well. Let's go. The charge of the Olakai once again at the Pelennor Fields. As the Citadel Guard are surrounded by the forces of evil. Once more. Go fight those Noldor veterans. Let's get in there, boys. The Citadel Guard shall fall. And you see the enemy... The Minas Ithil Gardens are coming. Guardians are coming. It is time for our cavalry to be back into the action. I want to kill those Minas Ithil Guardians. Let's go, boys. Let's go. In fact, I'll just get there quickly. Here come the Seaward Lancers. Very strong cavalry unit. Charging my Olokai. Come on, Olokai. I know you can do this. You are fighting. Wardens of the White Tower is never a good thing to fight. Right, we'll get our uh, get our boys in there. Gondor Cavalry is coming as well. Right, boys, back out, back out. You stay there. Keep firing while you can. Get there. Get there, my guardians. Temple Marksmen, you are glorious. As you see, the battlefield is now spread. Our allied army has fallen quite significantly. They have not won at all. So let's charge back these Minith Ethel Guardians. Let's go. Big charge. Look at the glorious men. The last stand of men on this earth. Or the last true stand that they will be able to mount.
against us. Right, uh, no, we can't come that way. Let's get back this way. Let's see, Seaward Lancers, destroy them. Destroy them all. Cavalry, come on, cavalry. We know you can make it back, and then we will charge them once more. Enemy general. That is uh, Elrond, by the way. You can't actually have uh, named characters apart from Sauron, I believe, in the custom battles. Here we go. Minas Ethel Guardians, let's go. Charge them. And you can see that the enemy still has lots of forces left remaining. So we must destroy them with our Olog High and Sauron himself. Come on, boys. Charge again. Good charge. Not so powerful, but good charge nonetheless. Let us return. Where are our Varia glances? Let us return over this way. And uh, look at the dead. The trails of dead elves and orcs and men that lay in these places. Glorious. That is Sauron himself has died. No, I believe. Unless that is... The Minas Ethel Guardians. That must be the Minas Ethel Guardians. It doesn't say, though. It's not said anything. Right, Sauron. It is time once again for you to charge into the enemy. I think we will charge the Talon Knights. And the Olaghai, you will charge the Citadel Guard. Glorious is our victory here today. If we can, tr if we can do this. Let's go into the Minas Ethel Guardians again. And Aragorn will die amongst his kin. Aragorn, you will die, my friend. You will die. We will charge the Eldian Wait to... Oh, okay. Maybe not a good idea. Maybe not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not when they had set up Phalanx. When they're running, it's fine. <laughs> when they've set up Phalanx, it's not something we want to do. Is that the Minas Ethel Guardians dead then? Come on then, boys. Ah, and the Oleg High. The Oleg High. Smashing through the Citadel Guard. They are bloody and bruised, but they continue their glorious attacks on men. Um, I want to get round, so let's uh, let's go this way. Come on, boys. This is the last stand. Sauron himself is fighting for the fate of Middle-earth. Look at the fields of dead that remain. Over this way. The fields of dead. Glorious battle. Glorious indeed. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm going to be doing all of these pretty much live commentary. Some of them will be online battles as well. So those will, of course, be live commentary. Uh, or, in fact, maybe after the fact done. But well, I'm not too sure. Uh, but, yeah. Most of these will be live commentary. I'm not going to be doing the uh, cinematic battles for these. Because... I want to give you guys the feel of, of, of playing these battles again and how it feels to play these games because it's so fun. As I say, the big goal of this is just to showcase the, uh, the real uh, sort of fun that you can have in these older games. And look at that. That is a glorious charge into the Talon Knights there. Oh, my days. Destroying that unit. Let's get back and get ready to charge again, my friends. Glorious, glorious, glorious battlefield. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you the feel of how it is to play these games still and how much fun you do have playing them. Because goddammit, it is fun. <laughs> right, back into the Talon Knights, my friends. Back into them. Sauron continues the fight. His armies are spread and battered. But he sees victory here today. Yes. Glorious. Great charge. Great charge again. Let's continue this. We've also got the Wardens of the White Tower to charge. Uh, Olakai is starting to fall now. Fight the Seaward Lancers, my friends. And our Orc Archers are finally broken. Smote upon the field. Right, Wardens of the White Tower, it's time for you to die. Charge! That was a terrible charge. But that one did a little bit. Good. Glorious charge. Our Olakai have done supremely well in this battle. Breaking the Seaward Lancers. Let's go. Let's go and charge the enemy. And these are the final men that remain. 
from these unless these are broken. They must be broken. But this has been a brutal battle. Look at that. Enemies killed 98. 88% of our army has been killed. So I, I believe they will have a, a better KD than us. Definitely because we are orcs to start with. And we started with a lot less... Uh, they started with a lot less men. The, the elves, of course. If I'd given them a full stack, there was no chance we would have won this. <laughs> we are playing on very hard, as usual. Uh, of course, always do. Uh, unless we're on RIS, that is hard, hard. And finally, is this the final charge that will break the spirits of men? Come on. Charge them. They still remain fighting. Well done, men. You have put up a good fight, and Sauron may even respect you for it. But that does not bring about a change to your doom here today. You will be doomed. Come on, let's go. Have we not killed them all yet? Surely. How are these guys? <laughs> these guys are still there. Two of them, they're just running. I don't know where they're running, but they are running. Noldor veterans, kill them all. Yeah, oh my god. The Olakai just smashed one to pieces. Glorious charge. And there Aragorn is smote upon the battlefield. Glorious victory. Glorious victory. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was good fun. Really good fun. I love Third Age Total War. Always have. It's a fantastic mod. Do check it out. But anyway, guys, if this has brought you a bit of extra Christmas cheer, then please do like, comment, and subscribe. That would be fantastic. Keep your comments coming on who you think will be some of the featured mods, some of the other battles we're going to be doing. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. All that good stuff really does help the channel out. And of course, Merry Christmas, and I will see you all again on the next battle, maybe. Unless are we... Uh, Look at the stats, <laughs> which we should do. 1,795, 2,579 for that second army lost. Uh, so they lost a lot more, but you can see, yeah, look at that. 2,400, 2,800 for the Gondor army, 1,400 for the Elven army. We killed the majority. Our second army did nothing. They were terrible. Uh, but we killed 2,300. Uh, and let's have a look at the stats. 484 killed by Sauron himself. The Olokai doing well as well. When you consider the KD ratio, of course. Uh, Sauron's will not doing amazing. And our Orc host really suffering against those elves. Temple Marksmen doing fantastically. Nearly 200 each. And the Temple Knights, of course, fantastic. As well as all our Lancers as well. Now let's have a look at the other army. And you can see no one doing anything really apart from the Marauders with 95. 101 for the Variag Swordsmen, so that's good. 71 for those ones. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that is everything. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. It's been a pleasure as always, and I will see you all again on the next battle.